welcome and I'm honored to have you in here so now let's start working on our sign up form open your text editor Notepad plus plus or any text editor that you're using and in the wrapper let's start working on our form I'm gonna create a div and I'm gonna give it an ID of form div that means it is a form div where the form is and in here I'm gonna create a form and in the form you need to provide a method there are two types of form methods one is get and one is post many people don't know what is the difference between get and post just remember post is for background sending of data you don't see anything going on in post or in the URL there is nothing in the URL in the post when you post something in the URL you see nothing but in the get you see oops sorry for that but in the get you see the values that are going on from this page to the processing page in the URL all will is go through through this URL but uh, but if you still don't get what I'm saying don't worry I will cover when we post or get this using Java, uh, PHP okay don't worry about now we are gonna use post and I will teach you about get when we'll process this using PHP method and action action is basically the page where we will process this and I will create another page where we will process our form and let's say process dot PHP uh, what if we process this in this page index page that will be good because we want to display errors on this page where the form is here we want to display errors here in the same page for so we don't need to go to another page it's good if we do this in the same page we will write PHP here above HTML or you can even do this above doc type here you can write anywhere you want okay it will be good if we do it in the same page because we will be able to show errors on the same page where form is and almost every website does this no website do this in another page but the website where they use Ajax or any other technologies mostly Ajax then they use other pages they send values to that page and that page return the errors or anything anything that is returning from the page is shown on the same page that is a totally different concept don't worry about that but now we will do this on the same page okay now we want to upload images to to do that you need to provide another attribute here and that is ink type basically this is encryption type and you need to write multipot forward slash form form data if you will not provide this attribute then we will not be able to upload a file or a picture or anything if you want user to upload his image you must provide this ink type multipart form data now let's create fields input fields and upload buttons blah blah anything we need in our form let's type input type text and we want user to write his first name here so I write name is equal to first name name is very important attribute to process this in PHP okay don't forget to write name this is very important attribute okay this one input type name okay oops input type text name is equal to first name input type text name is equal to L name means last name user will provide his last name in here let me copy this and paste it so it saves our time email we want to get users email and input type password we also want to get password from user and what we want to get um, we also want to get uh, what else we want to get Let's type now 
input a file we want him to upload him or her to upload his image name image I think that are enough first name last name email pass oops password email password image and his email and submit button now first name last name email password image that are enough now let's type submit and name name also submit or you can write anything you want now let's provide right break because we don't want the these input fields to to be in the same line so now let's write break tags so now let's see it in the browser refresh so these are our cool fields <laughs> these are not actually cool these look totally ugly now let's uh, make them look good let's provide label tag oops label tag is in HTML5 you can use it if you like first name I'm gonna copy Uh, and I'm gonna paste here yeah good so now let's refresh it oops let me change these first name last name email password mm, and image so now let's refresh it now it look good but uh, they are still very congested let's provide one more break tag between these elements now let's check this out yeah now it look good now we want this to be in the center and that and in the center it will look cool now let's provide some styles to form div and we will make it in the center let me add some space here weight 240 margin the pixel matter because they want it to be in the center of wrapper I hope you guessed in the center of wrapper now let's check this out yeah it's in the center and I want it to have some margin from top I don't want it to be to have some collision with the this up border it doesn't look good here it must have some margin to look good so now let's provide it some margin top 20 pixels let's check yeah 20 pixels excellent hmm uh, let's give it a border to check where actually where where it is actually in the center or not border on pixel solid dark gray yeah width is too much Let's reduce it a little bit, reduce it a little bit. How about two hundred? Hmm. Now this is this is okay. Now let's remove the border. Hmm, cool. 
first name last name email password image and submit cool you you can provide style to these input fields if you like but uh, we will do that in the last section okay at the end after making all the functionality we will do style stuff in the end so you guys know how we can provide styles but this course is actually about getting you or teaching you about how we can process our form and how we can create our full login and registration system using PHP this is not about CSS but don't worry we will make our this this one form awesome and we will also make login system awesome using CSS so stick with me and videos and two or three videos we will apply only CSS okay and we will make this awesome but now we will work with this okay so thank you guys for watching we will start writing PHP in the next tutorial and I really appreciate that you choose my course to learn about login registration system and I'm really honored for that